Hello, good evening. Happy Sunday. So, today we have... Oh, just get the camera ready for the next one. Um, so, I've not been home long. I've been away for the weekend. Fabulous uh, retreat. Um, kind of like a bit of a busman's holiday, I call it. Um, where I actually go along and do some crafting. And do some things and mix with other people instead of um, being at home. Oh, my... My camera, I'm sorry, my live seems to have started and then stopped, so I'm just resetting everything, so sorry. There we go. Oh, kid to hook. We'll get you in line there. So, been away at retreat. Um, literally, been not been back very long at all. Um, had a fabulous time. I've been working on some projects ahead so that I can um, bring some more things to you. Um, and a couple of events I've got coming up as well. Um, and Laurie was with me, who's also doing the event. And then um, we've been communicating with Helen as well. So that's the Norfolk Day coming up on the 27th of July. So it's in Norwich. Um, if you haven't um, got um, any details of that, if you haven't seen my post come up, then please give me a shout. It's going to be a fabulous event. Um, we're already taking names just on the save the date information. So it's going to be good. Um, hi, Linda. Hi, Maxine. Lovely to see you. So a um, bit of a rush just trying to get ready and unpack my... Um, stuff ready to go even not to have taken the corners off my board look um just unpack that so i've got a, a working surface and some products so let me go and get you down onto the table who have we got there there we go okie duck we've got hearts up that's good okay so i can still see that one that's good just get rid of that one and i think we're ready to go so painted lavender i know i've used it a lot lately this is something i've been working on over the weekend and um the card, I'll just refresh on the card we did Wednesday because that's here for you. Oh, it's all jumbled up. I've got all the bags in out of the car, literally just, and um, just diving in to um, ooh, show you some bits and pieces. So this was the other night's um, card from Wednesday. Okay. Hi, Pam. Lovely to see you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow as well in person. Um, so this was a card that we did, or a variation thereof. Um, I can't remember what was on the original, but I did a few more of these while I was away because they were rather nice. And um, so that's lavender. So pop that back over there. Um, so tonight I wanted to work with a sketch with you. So we've got the lovely lavender. You've seen me play with these papers loads. Um, and I'm not sick of them, even though I've played with them most of the weekend. It's only two days, not like where we go to Arundel. It's the same organiser, um, but it was just the two days. So um, this is going to be my sketch for tonight. I was going to put the lines over the top of it and just have a little bit poking out the top. Then I decided, no, I'd rather have the, the details on here, so the sentiment. So this is one of my sketches I'm going to be working on. Sorry, I've got messages coming through there. Just lose those. So this is where we're heading tonight, okay? So um, I don't know what colours or what I'm going to do, but one of the things I wanted to show you was when I work with cards and I'm mass-producing... I just chose in the catalogue, um, the catalogues aren't unpacked yet, so you'll just have to bear with me on that one. You've seen me bring these out a lot of times. So these are the colours. Hi, Anne. These are the colours that were in the um, perennial lavender papers, designer series papers. So I've cut um, a couple of sets this way, and I've cut one set this way, and I've put one set of each colour together because that's the way, they're all the colours that are listed, you know how the catalogue works, along underneath the first image, it will show you those colours. So I pull those colours out. If you, I find if I cut a load of card blanks first, it does really help. So I've got two going tent-wise and two sets going um, this way. I might have moved, moved, used a couple of those in there. But they're basically how I work. So um, they, it just saves time later when you're trying to make your cards and you're using one particular colour suite. So I'll move those out of the way um, and I will play with something from those. Um, first of all, we need to grab some paper and some cardstock. So I will look through here and see what I think is going to go best with that sketch. I kind of want some the focal image to be um, prominent. I don't think that's going to be long enough. I want a tall, a tall piece for the centre of my card. Actually, that might do. I do like that one. I've got, I've got something earmarked for those um, coming up. I'm part way through a project, so I think I'm going to take that one. 
Um, and I'm going to just have a panel on here. So I kind of want that to be about one of my go to's is um, either seven and a half by 11. Um, all my tools are beside me. So let me just grab a ruler. And I would say seven and a half by 11 or 11 and a half by seven and a half. So seven gives you two and a half there and 11 gives you one, two, three and a half there. So say 11 and a half, 11 and a half by seven. Let's go for that at the moment. So I have my trimmer here. I do have my baby somewhere. I don't know where that one's hiding. But yes, I've got a job on my hands. I need to put everything away tonight so it's nice and tidy after my live. Um, so I'm going to go seven and a half first and see how that looks on here. So that's in proportion. I like that. Um, if you've seen my layout where I do a 12 inch sheet, that is in fact where are my templates here. Let's see if I can grab that quickly to show you. Um, I have used it loads of times. Um, and it's a go big go-to for me yeah. if you are looking to batch create your cards. Okay, so this one where you've got seven and a half that way, eleven and a half actually, but it's it's a good proportion. So you, this way you can actually cut your lines here, cut once, cut twice, and then cut those sections up into three inches by four and a half or eleven and a half by seven and a half. Okay, so it's a good it's a good layout to do. Okay, I love that one. Priorities. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, gin and tin. <laughs> yes, I should have had a gin and tin, sh gin and tea, shouldn't I? Um, I did take some away with me. <laughs> and cheekily, we had one of the guys came in on the Friday night and said to us, I'm on duty now for this evening. If there's any problems, give me a shout. Anything I can do. So I said, oh, just a cheeky request. You don't happen to have any ice machine work, ice in the kitchen, do you? And um, he switched the ice machine on. So we had ice cubes all weekend just plopping out of this machine. So it was good. So we had nice chilled water and also for the gin and tonics because we took our own um, provisions. So where am I going to first? What am I looking for? I think it's in the top here. I've got a lovely new toolbox that was buried in my cupboard. And because I've been clearing that out recently, I managed to get in there. I've got quite a good good chunk clear now. Um, but I, it meant that I could get this big box out for transporting to events. It makes it a lot easier. So take the lid off there, I think, and we will work from here. There we go. We have a score. We have tweezers. And underneath, I know we have Tombow. Hard when everything's been packed and some snips because I think they might come in handy there we go I think we've got some basics out there so that's going to be kind of like the layout but I want to just see this on the different colors I don't like it on the sh shaded spruce I've been using this one to death so I will put that aside that's a bit wishy-washy there's not much of that um, freezer in there I've been using this one quite a bit but actually I quite like that yeah, can't have, no, absolutely, Marilyn, can't have gin and tonic without ice. Definitely not, it's too warm. Um, we had a little fridge where the milk was for the teas and coffees in the room, um, but we had use of the kitchen, which was good. So that's going to be my layout. Now, that's my card base. I'm going to have another layer just shining behind here, and I'm not sure which one I'd like to do yet. So then we come along with these pieces, and we see what colour we'd like as a little accent hiding behind there. We might actually just like white. So you know how, you've seen me how I build my cards up. If it's just a tiny little border, I think white would be quite fresh and quite brightening. Um, the other thing we could do was Lost Lagoon is um, in there as well. So we could just try Lost Lagoon because it keeps those in the colour hues. So that... It keeps it quite muted, but it picks out the colours nicely in there. We could actually go with that one, I think, for a change. There we go. So I've got some um, uh, placement there. So now I can find my little ruler. I think I said seven and a half, didn't I? That's seven and a, that's seven and a half. 
and I did ele yes, 11. So I'm going to go about 11 and a half for this layer. So let's just chop this. Turn that one, 11 and a half. Because it's seven and a half. Oh, I only want a few millimeters over, don't I? Let's bring that back a little bit. I said we only want a little shadow, don't I? So seven and a half, I'm gonna go seven, eight. So when you only want a tiny border, either one eighth of an inch for my American friends or um, three mils for the UK people. So that's just got that tiny little border. And if I lay that on there, you'll see there's just a little accent around there. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that together. I'm not gonna gut tonight because I haven't got um, the, um, machines out yet so I'll put that one back in my trolley and then we're going to work for a banner coming across here we need something coming across I also need my stylus shaped dies so I don't know how you all travel when you're crafting um, but when I travel I have my I call my valuables in my scrapbook trolley because then I know they're all zipped up they're out of sight um, and they're secure because we do leave the room unattended overnight. So this is gonna be for my circles. So we love the stylish shapes and they're carrying over into the new catalog. So I need a spatula just to get these off here. Several of my nails are just getting a bit chipped at the moment. So let's just see, do I want that one inside or do I want it hanging over? I'm gonna put a banner across and I'm gonna work through these layers to see what I want. And that's going to take up too much of the paper so maybe we go for that combination and the banner coming over the top there let's have those ones out so that's a little bit so we could go to the same layers we could have a layer of the peacock and a layer of lost lagoon so let's grab some pieces out we'll have that one and peacock I've got some exciting things coming for, coming up. Um, ooh, that's not going to go big enough on there, is it? No, that's a bit small. Um, let's just get a larger piece. Yeah, there's some exciting things coming up with sketches. So that's what I was doing some work on over the weekend. And card layouts. So we'll pop those on. If we get in the bottom here, we can grab the big scissors literally hot off the press today so I came in and had a cup of tea with David cut those off so I'll go my scraps and this one I just want a little piece for here there we go and that one we'll get rid of those for a moment hi Angela good to see you so I've got my plates could use those. I've got things out of sight here so I will bring those on in a sec. We did give my my trimmer a new bottom. You know how this one's getting awfully scratched. Really, really worn out. It does still work but sometimes you find the dies actually stick in there now. So we honoured it with a, a little um, a new one. So I'm going to do these one at a time. There's our plates. So there we go. We'll pop that one through, cut that one, and then we'll just lay things together. Hi, Karen. Nice to see you. So I like I love sketches, and I do love just having some shapes and working with it. So pop these out of the dies. So that's going to come in there, and this one's going to shoot backwards and have the smaller one. So these are from the stylish shapes dies, and they are carrying over. So, um, let me just get those down again. Yeah, stylish shapes, guys. Hi, Emma. Lovely to see you on here. You caught me live. We had a lovely crowd of, of ladies there. Um, there was only 11 of, of us on this one. The one I do in January, it's the same organisers. Um, but um, there, was, um, there was 50 of us in January. 
Um, and there's 60 for next January, and we're sold out. So that's a really good one. It's going to be packed. Um, I'm going to grab some basic white because I'm thinking that might be a little bit dull there. So I'm going to cut this little one in white as well and see which we prefer. Chop that off and get that out of the way. Pass that one through. It might be too green, I'm thinking, on that one. So I'm just going to run that through and then we can see which we prefer. Just pull, pull the outsides away and go in the bin. These any stitch dies, they tend to really, really grip on those little the little dots around the edge there. So I just like to be a bit careful with those. We'll see what we think about those and which one we use. I'll we'll put those back up there. Pop you on the floor for now. And sentiments. I have some sentiments in a new set. here um, I have got a job on my hands to locate where these dies are for this one I thought I've, I've got everything that is new in the new annual catalogue in one place in one caddy and we couldn't find these while I was away so I need to have a look beautiful um, shaped um, framelits on here nice lovely dies in there but I might use one of these words on here that happy birthday is quite nice just see on the side it's a nice font so I'll leave that there a little while for you to look at. That's coming up in the new catalogue. While I grab the blocks out from the back of my box. There we go. So there's my happy birthday, and I think that's going to fit. Oh, that fits on there a treat. So we're going to get the ink pads from in front of me here. I'm going to stamp in Pretty Peacock, um, and I'm going to stamp on both of them to see which one we prefer. I can have a vote on it at the end. So, put that one on there like so. There we go. Look at that. It's a lovely font. And there we go. So we've got two of those. We'll see which one we're going to use. Put that back on my stack. Um, what else? We still want the banner to go across here, don't we? So we want that to come across and go right to the edges. Now, maybe we want to bring a some little bit of purple in. Oh, look. This is what, when I take my pieces out of here and you get pieces, you think, oh, yeah, that one will do just nicely. So I'm thinking that might, if that goes across like so, so we've got a banner through that one and probably the white like so maybe um, then I need another color on here so we could what should we go for ideas what would you like I'm thinking that one might you could go round the circle with purple yes I've got my daubers they're ready to go I will put some color on here definitely I bring that um, the gorgeous grape this one um, but I think if I measure this, I've got four centimetres on there. So I think I might do this one and go three and a half. So we're going to use the big machine tonight, big trimmer. So three and a half, just making sure that this edge is straight because it's come out of my packet and it might not be. So three and a half on there. We've got purple, my dear. So ten and a half on here is the width of our cards here in the UK. Okay, just adjust it, my American friends that come on, according to your inches width. There we go, so we chop that one off. So these two could go together like so. It's just giving that accent of the purple, and that could come through behind there like that. How's that looking? There we go. And then we've got that circle on there, and then we can just decorate it up and put gems and whatever we fancy on there. So, you see how I've worked with the sketch? Now that sketch can be interpreted however you like. 
you can do a swirly scribble around there. We used to have a swirly scribble die, somebody asked me about recently. Um, you could put that landscape, so you could have it there and you could put it landscape if you had your design coming this way. So you could still have that just turned 90 degrees. And that could sit on there like so. So you can just turn, literally turn your sketch around. Um, and then of course it can work on a tent card as well as a side fold card. So it could work this way and it could work on one of these going over and above the top that way. Okay, so a sketch is not set in stone. It's I like sketches because they just give you an, some outlines. There's no implying you've got to use a certain product or a certain color. It's just left to interpretation, which I really, really like. So if you ever get stuck, sketches are your way to go. So like I said, I'm doing some work on those um, and I have something to bring you later on. So I'll pop that back in the box, I think, for now with the rest of Unbounded Love. These are going to be lovely when they come out. You will see me using these a lot when I find the dies to go with them. Um, that's in my new box over there. New product. So we're going to do a portrait because I think that's really nice. So I have the inks here and I'm going to just get the daubers out of my box. So some of you have seen this one. Um, I bought my caddy online and I've started labelling all my... my um, my daubers, so I know that this is gorgeous grape, which is the colour of the ink we've got out today. And so, gorgeous grape is there. So there is my matching colours. It's a beautiful stamp, Maxine. It really is. Um, I'll bring it back on there. It's just a shame that I, I've, the dyes are there. The dyes aren't necessarily going round the images. Sorry, you've got my photo the wrong side of the camera. There we go. The photo, the image, the frame, sorry, aren't necessarily going around the images, but they are all shapes and double layers that will go with, like innies and outies, that will go with the shapes of the stamps on here. It's going to be a really nice set. I just, I'm really sorry that I can't find. I wanted to use it while I was away, um, and um, couldn't find the dies. So I need to search the table where I've been working leading up to going away. So this is just me with the door, but just around the edges there. And like I say, I either do this away from my project when I do this because it does fluff out a little bit. It might just spray a little, just flick away from it. Um, or I'm just doing it over the ink pad because if there's any purple come out, it's going to go there. Hello. Love it. Come on then. Smudge has come to see us. You saying hello to Shaz? Hey, your chair's there, madam. Hello. Hello. <laughs> She's missed me, I think. She's had a lot of fuss. There we go. She wants her treats now, doesn't she? Hi, Ruth. Nice to see you. There we go. So that's just fluffed around the edge there, just very slightly. So now we're going to put that all together. So there was my sketch that I had scribbled out for today. Like I said, I tried. I was going to put the lines over the top. I'll show you what I was going to do. I was going to do something like that. We'll see what we think. So that one there. Then I was going to put this one over the top, and then I was going to put this one on there. Now, how do we like that just for something a bit different? So they would obviously be lined up so that they sink in with the... And you know what I could do? I quite like that now. Can you see that all right? I quite like that. With Originally, I had the lines going across. So I'm thinking I like that. Um, but I don't want this plain. So you know what? I'm just going to quickly grab the... Is that possible? Let me see. It might not be possible, just to say. <laughs> They've not been snuck in somewhere. We'll forget that one for tonight because everything's not in packs and I don't know where the other plates are. So we'll just leave that as we were going to do, but I do quite like that. 
I might leave that across there just as, I might do it like that and keep it plain for now. So let's just build up from the bottom. Okay, so these two are gonna come together. Oh, take the lid off, that might help. Now this one was running out a little bit, but I have got some more nearby. It got through rather a lot of Tombow while I was away. Nope, we'll leave that one then, put the lid on. I'll worry about that one later. flowing nicely just around the edge and a little tiny bit through the middle so it's going to lay over here now the only thing we don't want to do is to make we want to make sure that our flowers are facing up upright when we put them on there okay so that's going to go on here now we're going to build this up with layers so I think I'm going to put this on flat where did I go I went to Grafham um, I go to Arundel the last two Januarys I've gone to Arundel because um, one of my team members I went with from Gaisley near Newmarket and Berry between there she introduced me to the group and it's just a chance to get away see like-minded people and enjoy some craft time when you can work on your own projects um, scrapbooks um, cards whatever you want to do craft wise and it's a really good social event I said there was 50 of us in January and the lady today said that there's 60 for next January and they're sold out so um, they've got a separate machine a separate room for the sewing machine people because it gets very um, they take up a lot of room because they've got irons and sewing machines and things that they're working with now I'm just going to try something if I grab the lavender okay so just taking the lavender here and I'm just going to grab a background stamp here. Not, well, not background really. It's the little tiny dotty ones. It's this one here. I really love those. And if I get this one out as well, these are kind of like extra little pieces. You can put the little flowers in the lavender. So that one's here. Okay, so that's my two stamps. Just bear with me a sec. I've got the gas fire on and it's now overtaking and it's like a little bit of a sauna in here. goes from one extreme to the other freezing cold because it's an old clay lump building um, or it goes to massively hot very quickly so there's my stamp I'm just gonna pop that on there I love this it's so dainty it's really really pretty um, do those in I want a little bit of a of a background, so I'm going to use um, the soft, the same card color ink on the card color. Okay, so this is Lost Lagoon. Just tap that one over there. I'm going to put it on my notebook here just to make sure I've got a good image. That's good. I feel all two and eight because everything's still all bagged up and boxed up. So I'm going to run this along off the edge. So it goes straight along the bottom here. So we've got some lovely image. I'll bring it up to the camera shortly so you can see. I'm just making sure the bottom of those stems are hanging off the end. I don't want them to be seen as being up in the air. So it's better to go under than over. Now that is just the same on the same. Can you see how beautiful that is? It's lovely. It's just so pretty. I love that. So that's that one. Then we'll go with the. I'm going to go shade down on the purple. Oh, that's the gorgeous grape. I'm going to go down to Highland Heather. And just for quickness, I'm going to take that off and stick it on the um, on there so that I can get this one. So if I just tap that, I'm going to do a test run on my notebook again, just to show you that they can go over the top there not a good one to do when there's a, a spring thing because it's I've got a too big a stamp at the moment so I'm just going to put some of these in just dainty in the background okay it's just giving that little feel of lavender heads because 
I've used a lighter shade. Okay. It will just be very delicate. Don't want it to take over the paper. So if I now put those two together, you'll see that we've just got a little bit of a nice border on the top there. And you'll see, so we've got the grassy bits in the bottom and some little purpley flowers staggered all along the top there. So we're going to take that, stick those together, a little bit around the outside, tiny bit through the middle, and place that on there. Try and get it even in the top and bottom. Tombow does give you that little bit of squidgeability. So you can slide it along. Just make sure that they're nice and even. I think they're good. So that's going to come through the middle there now. And then this one will come on for some foam pads on the top. So I don't know if I want that one to be raised as well. Or just this one. Give me some input. What should we what should we raise? Should we just raise this raise the sentiment? Or shall we raise that one and that one flat? Oh, six and two threes, I think. Hmm. Which would you like to see? I'll get the foam pads out, dimensionals. Oops. Put those over there so I don't lose them. I'll just have to jump in if nobody's going to put some suggestions at what you'd like. So I have some dimensionals here. Raise the sentiment. That was my preferred choice, Linda. So I think I'm going to go with that one as you're the first one in. Raise the circle. Oh, yes, there we go. We've got three there. Three raise the sentiment. There we go. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put this one down flat then. So I'll grab hold of that. Tombow on the base. Around the outsides. A thin piece through the middle and like I say we need to just make sure this is going to come in the center of that circle roughly even top and bottom like that and then take these off and of course we need some gems on here so I have my purple raise both oh Karen I'm sorry it's down now <laughs> um, I'll do the next one raised both I try to just go with one raise thing normally on cards. Sometimes I do double, but I just think about the postage. When you raise both, it kind of like is in risk of going over the postal rate. So that looks lovely on its own, doesn't it? Just like so. Um, but we've got to have some bling. We could even have had that, that double layer here raised as well. But it depends if you're giving it to the recipient or whether you're going to um, pop it in the post. I'll just take these off. So I have rhinestones. I have some purple gems here, so it's either going to be one of those two. The purples are very pretty, but I think it needs a little bit of lift to it. I'm not sure whether this is going to do what I want. So if I use those ones, they're very pretty. Or we can use the clear ones. So you've got some bright and sparkly. I kind of think I want bright and sparkly. These will probably just lose in the, to the background a little bit. Then it's a case of where to place. I'm going to use the medium ones here tonight and I'm going to put them on this layer. Okay, so we'll put three of those. They're larger so they're not lost in where the foliage is. Like so. So there's some bling. And if we wanted to, we could put some on the corners. But I think it's a bit corny for, to, for that. So I'm just going to put a couple of sparkly ones just randomly on the sentiment. In fact, three there. Let me do three on here. So I keep it random. And there we go. So there we go. We've got some nice little um, glitter on there, some sparkle. So I hope you like that. So just come back to the sketch. Forgive my stamping that on the bottom there. But this was the sketch challenge that I came up with um, just for tonight. Hand deliver, yeah, definitely. If it's fa fatter, we do, do just hand deliver those. Lots of people, so the sentiment. 
There we go. Hello, hello. Yes, Ruth. <laughs> Just scrolling back a little bit. So yeah, so that's my card from today. So like I said, we've worked with the sketch. I've shown you how you can turn it on its side. You can use different colours. You can make it masculine. You can put any greeting on there. But sketches are really, really good fun. Um, when people say they've lost their mojo um, and they don't know where to go to, then just think up some shapes um, or even just die cut some shapes um, in some colours that you like and just play different layouts. I like to have my camera with me and I will take a photo just of that image with a layout, just the, without the stamping. And then I'll swap it around and take a photo somewhere else and then try different shapes and put take a photo. And then you can flip back through your photos on your camera and then you can see um, what you would like to stick to. Oh, bless you. I'll come back to me there. Take that off and bring you across. Yeah, so there's lots of options with sketches. Um, really good way to go. And in the new catalogue, I think it's 22. There's a, a chunk down the bottom of the left-hand page with lots of little tiny sketches, some different ideas. I will be working with those. I will be, as soon as we get to the 1st of May, I will be showing you the catalogue. I will be hi highlighting those and just doing some more inspiration for you. Okay, so take care. If anybody's in the UK, if you have shopped with me, you will be getting your catalogues um, in the next, in, during this week. Um, and if you are new to me and don't have a demonstrator, then please shout out, send me a message and I will get one in the post to you as well. OK, they are in the house. They are here. So I've got a stack over there waiting to be handled. OK, when I get back. So I'm going to start on those this week. OK, so thanks for your company tonight and thanks for joining me and look forward to seeing you again soon. Back to normal. Um, where are we? Sunday, Wednesday, Wednesday night. Yeah, it should be OK. I think um, we're about back on track. So take care and I